everybody and welcome to another little video. I hope you had a nice Christmas slash little break. But I'm sending lots of love to anybody who didn't. I actually did have a nice Christmas but I had so much studying to do and I also got sick so I used my like days off that I planned to just recover which wasn't the most fun. I had all my exams last week, my deadlines and then this week is straight back at it with a new semester and new classes, whole new courses. So I am gonna talk quickly about the classes I'm taking and a little bit about my degree because I don't tend to include this, but I think that there is some relevance and like interest. So hopefully you enjoy this. So last semester I took the core courses for my degree. I'm doing a master's at LSE in health and international development. So the core courses were key issues in development and key issues in health and development. Those courses were very much like quite broad I would say and covered a lot of different topics like colonialism, migration, climate change, healthcare in general, universal healthcare, loads of examples. We also looked at regimes of development like through history, gender, like a lot of different topics. I then also did an optional course on poverty and I've just submitted my essay for that, which we had to pick the topic ourselves and come up with a question, which I've done for a dissertation, but not for just a end of a course assessment. So I actually really enjoyed that module and I really liked my essay in the end. I'm a bit scared. I actually had a panic dream last night about a different exam that I did. And in the exam, I got 11% and I was like, oh my God, and when I woke up, I was like, so grateful that I didn't actually get 11% hopefully we'll see but yeah so for the poverty course I chose to write my essay on unpaid care work and how that impacts women particularly in poverty so the idea of like the double burden where typically household work and childcare feel, falls that responsibility falls on women and the double burden of you know for example working all day at like a typical job and then also doing that care work and typically it's like undervalued, it's not included in GDP. Okay, sorry if the position changed, my memory card was full. Unpaid care work kind of underpins the economy and the economy cannot function without it. Consistently this work isn't valued, it's like I said not included in GDP, it's not paid, it's not, it's just, it's not even like appreciated, it's just sort of assumed. So that was what I wrote my essay about and specifically how that impacts labour market outcomes, how this can cause women to settle, I guess, for jobs that have bad conditions, bad pay, um, and are unsafe, and also how this means women earn less, and then like the sort of childcare effect where any career that a lot of women do have falls off and it's very hard to like get back to that point. So yeah, that's what I chose to write my essay about. 4,000 words, so quite long, but not, you know, not a dissertation. My new courses for this semester are Sexual and Reproductive Health and Forced Migration and Refugees. I actually switched one of my courses literally on the first day in the morning because I started the reading and I was in the introduction of the first paper and I was like, actually, no, this, this isn't me. Like, I don't want to do this course. Like, it is me. It's course on gender, which is why I picked it because I normally always write like 
and I think where I get to choose this specific topic I normally always pick gender like did my undergrad dissertation on gender module last term that I got to pick I obviously chose a gender topic so I was like oh great a gender course like I'll just take that and I think I didn't realize it's quite like it was a bit like economicsy which I kind of think not that I've already done that to that level at all like I'm sure it's not like I'm saying I already knew that course but I just feel like I've done quite a bit in that area in general and I thought maybe it'd be more fun to just do a different course that's on a topic I haven't really studied. I haven't really studied immigration or refugees at all. I've never really studied refugees properly. So yeah, other than like bits and pieces in other courses, I've not actually like done a course dedicated to that. So what I'm doing this semester, I also do have a dissertation. Please don't ask me about it. It's very much in the background for me right now and it's not meant to be. There's like deadlines coming up and I met my like tutor person. I think that could have been even like October, November. And he was like, what are you doing? I was like, I don't know. He was like, you should probably get on that. And it's been months and I still have no idea what I'm doing. But now my exams are over, I've decided I'm gonna dedicate a day each week to working on that. It's not come yet. So I still don't know what the plan is. I have a brief or a very broad topic that I wanna do, but I haven't decided specifically what I wanna look at, how, you know, how that's gonna be like, how I can add something original and like of value to the literature and what area I'd want to look at or any data I have no idea basically so just fingers crossed on that one and I'm also doing a consultancy project for the WHO which is really cool looking at the payment and hiring models of healthcare workers globally which there's surprisingly not very much literature or data on this which is proving difficult for that project yeah essentially especially in like global south countries the health workforce like the hiring models the payment models the like, incentives remuneration etc isn't really i don't know that i haven't found that much on it and if you do it's all very like sporadic so we've kind of been asked to do a project collating that information um, it's just it's a literature review basically, but yeah, it's a group project and then we have to present it to them in March I think so got quite a bit on I also just want to say as a little side note I have just finished editing like rough cut editing this video and It's very mundane <laughs> and simple and when I was in Edinburgh I actually used to get a lot of comments saying your videos are mundane or like repetitive or like boring my only response is that my life is repetitive, mundane and boring, like that is just it. And if you are in uni, where you're there almost all day, every day, or you work like a nine to five or longer hours, I feel like you can relate, like it just is mundane, it is boring. Like I love what I'm studying, but it's not the most like riveting day to day plan. Hopefully you can watch this video and relate to that. I love watching crazy videos where people are, you know, like traveling all over the world or I literally did that so it's not even like I'm coming from a point of like I would never do that I don't know you know I I think it's so cool to watch people do like crazy crazy stuff or like redecorate a house and like spend all their time doing that you know I love these videos but this is just like my life right now and hopefully you find some comfort in like if it happens to relate to you or yeah it's just like a little pottering around well it's not pottering around actually it's very much hard work <laughs> But yeah, it's very much just like my genuine day to day. So I hope that you still take value from that and enjoy it. And thank you for watching. I love you very, very much. Good luck with the new term slash semester if you are in uni and good luck with the new year for everybody. So enjoy. <laughs>
is a scabble of hope. It makes no sense. And to lose it hurts. Take a hard right. Kiss to go left fell. Long, long nights In the days of cold But I'll stand up my own Even with my two left feet Oh, we'll dance the night away To get back to sleep I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls Help my writing heal the whole Use my heart to stop the fall Oh, I know and I'm scared That I need to reach out Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. They are the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of different classes spanning so many different topic areas like graphic design, business, negotiation, animation and so many more. When I've been studying so much, especially during exams, it's really important to me to have something really calming and enjoyable to do in my evenings. I've chosen the graphic design basics learning path and within these there are a few different classes that you can take to work towards that goal. Graphic design is something I feel like could really elevate my platforms where for example making a YouTube thumbnail or you know the podcast Instagram maybe could have a little spruce up. Each individual lesson is quite short as you can see here and the topics are split up really nicely. I just love the flexibility especially because I'm in uni so I really do need to make my own schedule with this and I love that it offers that. The first 500 people to use the link in the description will get one month free of Skillshare so happy learning and I hope you enjoy! I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls Help my writing heal the whole Use my heart to stop the fall Oh, I know when I'm scared That I need to reach out But how?